welcome back to the Anchor Media channel. My name is Tatum Iomike. I am the CEO and executive producer here at Anchor Media. In today's video, we're going to be talking about three topic ideas that you can have on your podcast. So the first one is a Q&A. When you record a podcast, it's so impersonal in a sense for you as the host because you're just recording yourself, talking to yourself, uploading it to the internet for people to listen to. But by having Q&A episodes, this is an opportunity for you to engage with your audience. Allow them to submit questions to you via social media, via email, whatever your platform of preference is. Make sure they're able to submit questions to you so that you can be able to engage with them. This also gives you very valuable valuable insight on the type of content that your audience wants to hear. So if you're getting questions or the same questions over and over again, that should be a podcast topic in and of itself because it shows that your audience has a desire or a need for that type of content. Also, if you pay attention to where people are submitting questions the most, that will tell you where your audience is the most active. So if they choose email, then that might tell you, well, let me make sure I have some type of newsletter for my audience because they prefer to communicate via email. If it's Twitter, that might tell you, let me make sure I'm taking Twitter a lot more seriously because this is where my audience is engaging the most. So my suggestion when you do Q&A is to give your audience a variety of options to reach out to you and then monitor what platform they're using the most and allow that to inform your decision of where you're the most active. Another topic idea is some type of review, how to to something where you're giving them some type of resource that you have experience in or you're providing your opinion on some type of show or book or something that's of interest to your audience. This is a great opportunity for SEO as well because when people are actively searching for what to watch on Netflix or top books to become a financial investor or whatever, your content is that much more likely to be found and they're listening to your podcast, they might listen to other episodes, and now you've just captured a new listener. This is also an opportunity for you to maybe make some affiliate money. So if you're earlier on and you're not at the point where you can monetize via advertisers, if you're recommending books, platforms like Audible and Amazon have partnership programs to where you can get get a kickback for anybody who starts an Audible subscription using your code. So affiliate programs are something that's out there that a lot of companies have. It's low risk to them because they don't have to pay you unless you generate a sale. And it's an income opportunity for you who may have a smaller audience, but if your audience is active, you can get paid for that. And again, you doing these how-tos and reviews, you're providing value to your audience. Podcast listeners are listening to podcasts for them. They wanna be entertained, they wanna be educated. So the more content that you can create that's relevant and exciting and informational and educational, inspirational, I can go on all day, for them, the better. You can also have a podcast topic where you talk about something that you wish you knew. So it can be what I wish I knew when I first started a business what I wish I knew when I first started investing and that would have helped me not lose money, what I wish I knew about marketing when I first started my podcast, whatever it may be. This allows you to really connect with your audience where they are. It allows you to let them know like, hey, I've been where you've been. These are the lessons that I've learned and it positions you as an expert, especially if you have a business where you solve a particular problem. It helps position you as the expert because now you're connecting on the level of your audience where they are and providing them wisdom and building up that know you, like you, trust you factor with them, which will then help you in converting them into a customer for whatever it is that you're offering. So those reflective episodes are always great where you could provide wisdom and insight to your audience who are in the position that you might have been way back when. If you want more tips like this, subscribe to our weekly newsletter. It's called the Profitable Podcast Newsletter, where we're always giving you valuable information to help you launch and grow your podcast. That's it for this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss when we post another video. I'll see you in the next one.